Hello? It's good to see you. Today we have the first um, Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate. This is the largest uh, bag I believe that they offer. Now we were doing the Glam Bag Plus, but they now offer the Ultimate. And I thought we could just give it a try and see how we like it. This one is supposed to come with a cosmetics bag that's bigger than the bag that comes with the um, the regular Ipsy Glam Bag subscription. So this box is a bit bigger than the Plus box. And I haven't looked at it yet. I thought we would look at it together. So I'm going to pop this open. I'll slide it back a little bit. going to move it aside and give us a little room to work with. Okay, I actually ran into a brand new problem. This box is so big that I don't really have room to move it over without it falling over. So I've set it on the floor and we're just going to, I'm going to reach in there and take one thing out at a time. I still haven't looked at it. We're going to look at them individually, look at the things individually. Oh lord, the first thing I find. Now you know with the Ipsy Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus, we just had the little card. This has a whole big <laughs> fold-out thing here. Um, let's see. Let me look at this side. Haunted. Oh no, flaunted. Is it flaunted or haunted? That almost looks like a capital H. Pretty sure it's an FL. She doesn't look, there's no Halloween theme, so I'm assuming it's flaunted. But you see where I would think that was an age. And it's October, so, <laughs> sorry. Okay. Let's start obsessing over what we love about ourselves. It's time to show off what makes you feel beautiful. Those lips, that skin. And who better than iconic beauty muse and confidence queen Betty Boop to inspire you to flaunt it unapologetically. Now we're going to have 12... Uh, glam bag products in here. This is the glam bag ultimate. Okay, so I don't want to look because this is probably going to tell us what's in there. So I'm just going to move it for right now. All right, the first thing on top is the bag. It's a little bit bigger than the regular glam bag uh, cosmetics bag. I like this texture. And we have Betty Boop here. Lou B. Let's see. I haven't looked at the other side of this bag, but I can tell you it feels different. And a little red heart. A metal heart. Zipper pull. Oh, look. Mermaid sequins. Looks like this side is shiny. The underside is not. It's not really a different color. It's a little different, not terribly different. Hmm. That's interesting. I haven't seen one of their glam bags have those on there. And we have Betty Boop. By Ipsy. Beautiful red satin lining in this little bag. Very cute. I like the bag. That's cool. <laughs> okay. The first product is from Nanette Lepore. Beautiful times. The box is pretty. Oh, it's yellow under here. Oh, and they have the ingredients. Oh, it's an eau de parfum. 10 milliliters. I wonder what it smells like. Let's see. I can open this. Oh, this 
is cute. A cute little spritzer here. I was told not to rub my wrists together, although now it's dripping down my arm. I'm not supposed to rub it because it ruins the top notes of the fragrance, which I never knew. <laughs> oh, it has a nice... I hate that it, it ran like... <laughs> well, I was just going to wrap the scent around my arm. It has a nice light, kind of a fruity scent. Oh, kind of floral, kind of like fruit. Look at that. <laughs> it's up here. It smells nice though. I like it. It's um it's not a heavy heavy overpowering scent. That's cute. I like it. So there's the first Real Her? Real Her. I guess that's how you say it. I don't know. Playbook. It's a shadow palette. Whoa, this is heavy. This is really, this is like substantial. Um, okay, it has plastic shrink wrap. in this nice matte black box. I'm just going to pop this up real quick. Okay, I, I literally had to. It wouldn't come out. I had to just kind of tear it across. It would not open. part of their proceeds to nonprofit organizations that help advance the lives of women and girls through women and girls through scholarship programs, leadership advocacy, education and research in the US. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there's a big mirror. Wow. So here we have the palette. There's a little plastic bit. It's a nude palette, basically. Oh, I love this color right here. This is nice. Um, it looks like they're all a matte finish, except this one it has a little bit of shimmer to it. There's perfect, flawless, incomparable, gorgeous, stunning, impeccable, enchanting, alluring, and divine. That was divine. And this one has a little bit of a shimmer. Not a lot, just um, a little bit. Nice, like, um, I want to see how this one looks. Let's take my finger and touch it like this. Ooh, that's just a little bit. That's pretty impressive. I want to see what the rest of them look like. Hold on a second, I'm going to go get some swabs. All right, let's grab some little swabs. Like, if we wanted to try alluring. It's a little bit lighter. Doesn't look terribly different. You can see a little bit of a difference. Enchanting is a nice matte taupe color. You can definitely see it's lighter. 
impeccable. I like this one. This one has a little bit of a shimmer. You can kind of see it a little bit. Stunning. As you see, I just keep turning the swab to a place that doesn't have anything on it. That one's very subtle. Gorgeous is kind of a peach color. Oh, but it does have a little shimmer to it. Yeah, you can see that. Yes, it does. Incomparable. Well, that's, that's very light. Flawless. That'd be a good concealer, too. Alright, and perfect. Yeah, there we go. Very light. Very cool. That's a nice, that's a nice little palette there. It's very nice. Real Her 3 Shadow Palette. I feel beautiful. And it does have a mirror in here. Oh, this is a very, very nice palette. Oops, this is two things. I thought I was grabbing one. It's actually two. We have here from I do know how to know how to pronounce this. Same S A E M the same. A natural avocado mask sheet. Deep moisturizing from Mexico. And also from the same we have a natural shea butter mask sheet. Looks like it has lemon in it. Shea butter from Africa for protecting your skin. So it looks like um, you just clean your face and then remove this mask from the pouch and you just kind of unfold it and spread it across your face and leave it there for 20 to 25 minutes and then you gently pat the remaining essence into your skin. It doesn't say you have to rinse it off. In the avocado mask, same thing. You just unfold it and smooth it onto your face and leave it for 20 to 25 minutes. And you just have to be careful not to tear the mask. Hmm. Nice. So shea butter and avocado. a little thing. I think we got some of this the other day. The Unicorn Glow Hydrating Primer. I think we got some of this already. Let's see. So it's a primer. Of course it has a little tab on it. Let's see. It's kind of, well it's not completely clear. It's kind of like a gel. It feels like it goes on a little thick, though. Hmm. But after you, you kind of smooth it in, and it, maybe I, it's not covering a big enough area. Just bring it down over that, <laughs> the eyeshadow palette stuff. Let's blend it in. There you go. It feels nice after you rub it in a little bit. So this is a 10 gram tube of primer and the print is so tiny, <laughs> I, even with my glasses on it's hard to read. It has a lightweight gel texture, moisture and is a moisture infused primer that instantly creates a smooth glowing canvas for flawless long lasting makeup while nourishing and hydrating skin. Oh wow, you know what? After it, you know, it's just been on there for less than a minute. 
It really does. It, it has changed the feel of my skin. It feels smoother. It doesn't feel sticky or anything. I can really see where that would be nice under makeup. I, I didn't try the other one, I'll be honest. I have several. I have several little things of primer like this, but since I use the Pure Lease Hydrating Gel under my makeup every day, um, I don't use primer because I already have the hydrating gel under my makeup, so I, I haven't tried it. And I do, like I said, I have several different things of primer and I haven't tried all those either <laughs> because I use the hydrating which it's, it's not a primer, but I, I don't want to add another step to the process. <laughs> you know, I do the, the hydrating gel, liquid makeup, powder, eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner, um, eyebrow, pencil, and I use the, um, the Tarte highlighter, uh, Stella in the corners of my eyes, right ne up to my, next to my nose. So I already apply a bunch of stuff, so I don't really do mess with primer. But I have to say, it really does give you a nice smooth surface. If you just let it sit for a minute or two before you apply your makeup, it really does. That's different. I can tell a difference. I bet this is a great primer. Unicorn Glow. Oh my goodness. We have a great big thing here. Murad. I may be pronouncing that wrong. Murad. Murad. Hydration Exfoliating Cleanser. It exfoliates to reveal smoother, younger looking skin. And it has AHA and BHA. I don't know what that is. Skin Wellness Through Cellular Hydration. We ignite your skin's most beautiful potential. It's founded by dermatologist and pharmacist Dr. Howard Murad. Uh, we develop skin wellness through our unique science of water and continue to innovate high-performance technologies and formulas. So our products, like your skin, just keep getting better. Okay. This is an intensive triple action exfoliator with a proprietary blend of salicylic, lactic, and glycolic acids that polish away dull, dry skin without irritation. It reveals smoother texture and a brighter, younger-looking complexion. Now, to use it, you just massage a small amount over your dampened face and neck and rinse with warm water and pat dry. For optimal results, use two to three times weekly. So I guess this is not a daily cleanser. And here's a tip. Extend this cleanser's exfoliation benefits to your elbows, knees, and heels for all over smoothness. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'll give this a try. I love to try new cleansers. And I've gone on to buy some full-size cleansers that I tried in these box in the glam bag that I really liked. So this is a 6.75 ounce bottle of cleanser. I'll give it a try. Oh, here's the Betty Boop item. Betty Boop by Ipsy. That's a little iconic silhouette there. Cheek to cheek. It's a blush palette. Cheek to cheek blush palettes. I just painted my nails. The bad thing is sometimes when you open these, it messes up your nails because they're they're in there so tight. And sometimes it's hard to get them out. Let me open this. Okay. I actually have a letter opener that I stick under there and just. Let's see this blush palette. Ooh, fancy. Look at that. Wow. That's cool. Um. Hmm. Interesting. I 
thought this would be a mirror. It looks like it wants to be a mirror. Hmm, that's weird. It looks like this should be a mirror, but it's not. On the very edges, it is. This is tripping me out. I don't understand this mirror. Oh, anyway, we won't worry about it. So I removed the little divider and the little cover here. And we have three shades of blush. This one is a little shimmery. This one is matte. This one looks like it might also be a little shimmery. Well, since we already have primer, let's see what it looks like. Oh, I already used that one. Let's try this one. It's clean. Let's put a little on there. It's subtle. It's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. It's kind of subtle. Let's see this one. This pink one. This is nice. Ooh, that one's shiny. Look at that one. Whew. <laughs> cool. And then the lightest one here. Mm-hmm. It does have a little shimmer to it. It's pretty cool. I think I like the middle one the best. This one here, that's pretty. So it's not super dark. I mean, it's not a... Uh, I don't know why, but for Betty Boop, I expected it to be more of a dramatic color. I don't know. But those are actually really nice blushes. So I'm just put the little plastic. case is the cutest part. I like the case the best. The little, um, I love the shininess of it and the Betty Boop. That's really cool. <laughs> All right, next we have a Lemon Verbena Clay Mask from I B O E M E Bomb, E Bomb, I think. This lemon verbena clay mask cleanses the skin's impurities and removes dead skin cells while soothing your skin. Um, it has sebum and pore care, soothing care, and a rice and red bean scrub. Huh? Really? I'm wondering if these are just different types of masks that they have. It says apply an appropriate amount of clay mask onto cleansed skin. Well, how do you know what the appropriate amount is? I don't know what an appropriate amount of this is. Let's put it on this hand since we haven't done anything over there. I want to see. It's kind of green. So what would be an appropriate amount? Oh, it has little granules of something in it. Maybe it is a rice and red bean scrub. Is that an appropriate amount? I always feel like I'm not putting enough on there. We'll just cover this area here. And we'll let that soak in and then we will, um, I will clean it off and we'll see how it feels. It says, after five to ten minutes, rinse and gently massage with lukewarm water. So this is a one ounce tube of a lemon verbena clay mask. It actually has a really nice smell, but it's not really strong. You have to kind of get right up next to it to smell it. I don't know how to describe it. It smells like, it smells like my grandma when she goes to church on Sundays. It smells like my grandma. I don't mean that in a weird way or, 
I don't know what way I mean that, but when I smell it, it reminds me of my grandmother. <laughs> it really does. That reminds me of my grandmother. Okay. I've never heard of this company. It's a nice little container, though. So we're going to leave this and let it sit on there for a little bit and see what else we have. a cute little thing. Oh, colored rain. We had, we, now I know we had something from them in the last thing we opened. I am guessing it is eyeshadow. Yes, eyeshadow glamour from colored rain. And they have this cool little box. So reflective. Very nice. And again, I can't see when you start sticking your nail down in there and that's what so I'm going to use my letter opener to open this. Alright. Let's see what color we have here. Glamour. Specially made by Ipsy for colored brain. Ooh. It's like a taupe. So this is glamour. Oh, it's a shiny taupe. company, but it's a very similar. I have to get away from the blush. Oh my lord, that is shiny. Look at that. Oh. Oh, I'm keeping this for sure. Now, it doesn't have a ton of color, but that would look so pretty right over the top of a darker eyeshadow or right up next to it. Ooh, that's very nice. I love the shine in that. Look at that. That is impressive. Oh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this eyeshadow. <laughs> Definitely, uh, oh, I'm, I'm loving this one. I think I really liked the other one, too. I don't, it might have been the same color, honestly, I don't remember, but, um, I really like their stuff. This was pretty awesome. Yeah, I was pretty impressed with the other one. So yeah, I'm keeping that one. <laughs> okay, the next thing I have here is Obsidian Kaleido Cosmetics. The mask is drying. I can feel it tightening on my hand. Waterproof liquid eyeliner from Kaleido Cosmetics. If you've ever had streaky liners that crease, melt, and run on you, listen up. We've created a perfectly waterproof, smudge-proof liquid eyeliner in the blackest of black for a fierce, intense look that will withstand heat, rainy showers, sweat, and tears. Well, that sounds like my typical day, so this might work for me. The applicator is equipped with an ultra-precise synthetic felt tip that dispenses just the right amount of quick-drying, long-lasting liquid formula that is, that is super easy to use and completely fuss-free. Get in line. Give it a shake first. Gently pull the outer corner skin area of your eye to create an even surface. Hold the applicator at a slight angle and trace it close to your lash line to create the perfect look. Apply two coats for a darker, thicker line. It's cruelty free and vegan and gluten free. Hmm. Let's see. I've mentioned before that I'm a big fan of the LA Colors liquid eyeliner. Um, you can find it at Dollar Tree. They have it in brown and black. And sometimes you can find one that's a brown slash black, kind of between the two. I've been using it for years. I keep coming back to it, even though I've tried more expensive brands. I just don't know that they're any better than the uh, LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner at Dollar Tree. Honestly, it is that good. And it's only a dollar, and that's hard to beat. Let's see if we can open this, though. And has plastic on it. Um, there we are. Come smell that way.
just messed up my nail. <laughs> my nail polish just messed up right there. small can you make it how thin huh it's quite nice actually can I write my name with it I actually can you can make it as thick as you want. You can just turn it to the side and it becomes like a fat sharpie marker. Neato. This is actually a really decent eyeliner. The coverage is nice and smooth. Look at that. I didn't have to press down hard at all. And it looks really nice. It looks pretty good. I'll, I will definitely give it a try. I will. I have my LA Colors eyeliner always at the ready, but I'll go for I'll go with this one and uh, see how see how it works. I mean, it already looks like it's going to work pretty well, no matter how thick or thin you want the lines to be. Okay, the next item here is what? Oh, it's a lip gloss from C'est Moi. Reflect Lip Gloss. A new generation of beautiful. Nice. Let's see how we open it. Oh, there's a little seal. I'm going to go ahead and get this open. Okay. Ooh, well, it is shiny. It doesn't really seem to have a scent. No, it doesn't smell like anything. It does say it's, um, let me see, dermatologist tested, clinically tested on sensitive skin, made with natural and organic ingredients, hypoallergenic and fragrance free. Hey, that's great. I don't, I don't know where to put it. Up there right here. Oh, it is quite reflective. Look at that. It is nice. It reflects pretty well. That'd be so pretty over lipstick too. I mean, you could use it by itself, but you could put it over top of lipstick and give it a really nice sheen. Very cool. That's nice. I, I actually prefer a lip gloss that's not scented. Um, I find a lot of the scented ones to be kind of, I, like, I don't like the scent and it kind of bugs me. So that's a nice, pretty color. So in here it looks kind of taupe, sort of a taupe color. You put it on and it doesn't really have a lot of color, but it definitely has a lot of shine. It feels like um, typical lip gloss. It's not super sticky though, so that's really cool. Very nice. And that is from Say Moi. Um, it's a ref ref Reflect Lip Gloss. And here is our last um, product that is something that you apply. I have one more thing in there to show you. Low Serum Soin Hydraton. That is um, French. <laughs> the Ultimate hydra Hydration Skin Care with Filmexyl and Prohyol Plus. Moisturing, moisturizing and enhancing. 
So it's a nice hydrating serum. The all day hydrating serum for moisturizing and improving the skin complexion. How do you use it? After toner, apply serum onto entire face. I guess you just let it soak in and then apply other stuff. This has um, a seal on it. I'm going to get that off and then we'll see what this is like. Okay. I remove the seal. Take this off. How much is in here? This is one, uh, one ounce. 30 milliliters. This part is hollow. It's just this. Let's see. smell like anything. I have nowhere to go with this. <laughs> I'm going to put it over my perfume. I can still smell it, but it's not as strong. This feels like the Pure Lease hydrating, um, the watermelon hydrating balm I use. It's a little more slippery, though. It feels a little more soapy. <laughs> But it goes in, it absorbs really well. That's a really, really nice moisturizer. That's nice. It, okay, so it feels a little slick at first, but that feeling goes away after just a few seconds. I'm just patting the skin there. That is a really... Oh, that's, this is really nice. I'm keeping this one, too. Huh. Oh, and then it just goes right in. Like, now it just feels nice and silky and smooth. Oh, this is, this is nice. This is really nice. This is from BioRace. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not. I've never heard of this company. I might try to find a way to incorporate this into my skincare routine. I'm never giving up my Pure Lace, Pure Lace hydrating um, balm. I'm not giving that up. I love it too much. I use it every day. But this is, I think this is kind of similar. Um, yeah, maybe I could use it at night or something along with the other stuff I use. I'm going to give it a try, though. I'm going I'm to try this out for a little while. Let's see how I like it. Okay, I'm going to go get this stuff off, and then I will be right back. Okay, I think I got everything off. <laughs> My skin feels really soft and smooth from the mask. It's very nice. I do like it. I got all this stuff off. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to try this. Yeah, I really like it. So, I'm going to see how this works. The last thing I have are some Farrah makeup brushes. Looks like we get three in here. Small, medium, and large. Comes in this little zippered pouch little thing. Let's take them out and see what they look like. Okay. Oh, these are nice. You see they have these little indentations on the brush handle. Nice ergonomic feature there for your thumb and forefinger. It makes it easier to hold them. They have these really pretty soft, oh so soft bristles. strength makeup application, I guess, and you need an extra good grip. <laughs> I don't know. It's so smooth 
and soft. Oh, that's nice. That is a very nice makeup brush. I like it. And the third one is the biggest. Oh, that one's extra soft. Oh, I like that one. That feels nice. <laughs> Beautiful brush. So it looks like we got some really great stuff in our Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate Box. First one ever. Let's take a look at the literature here. Okay, the first thing, um, we have the Farrah brushes that we just looked at. Midnight Pro Trio. Perfectly balanced weight, comfort grips, and a subtle midnight blue tint to the fibers. I noticed that. I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. They do have a very slight blue tint. This trio of brushes is the epitome of luxury. Plus, they're designed by a team of beauty lovers and 100% vegan and cruelty-free. And then from I IBOM, IBOM. The Lemon Verbena Clay Mask. It's made with skin brightening lemon verbena, rice, and red bean. Okay, so it does have that. This clay mask removes impurities, controls excess sebum, fights inflammation, and gently exfoliates to reveal glowing skin beneath. Let's see if I can find that. Here we have it. This nice item here. There's a tip for this mask. You apply an even layer of this mask to clean skin, avoiding the eyes and mouth. Let it sit for five minutes until dry and remove with a wet washcloth. I just removed it with, I just um, ran warm water over my hand and just sort of massaged it away. I didn't use a washcloth with it. My mistake. We really do have a lot of products in here. I'm going to show you everything together. And that one there. It's a lot of stuff. And the bag, too. Okay, next we have this one right here. Kaleido Cosmetics. That's this eyeliner. Kaleido Cosmetics. Obsidian Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. One thing I did want to say when I removed this eyeliner, um, it was waterproof, but when you apply soap and water, it comes right off, which is a big plus for me. I find that a lot of waterproof eyeliners are kind of hard to remove whether with a makeup remover or soap and water, they're hard to remove and you end up really having to rub it and I don't like doing that to my eyes. Um, this one was great. It did not come off when it got wet. I tested it. I got it wet and just kind of rubbed it and it didn't come off. But the, the moment I took some soap, like the water was running over my hand, I took some soap on my fingers, like some liquid soap, and then like this, it immediately started to come off and I didn't have to rub it at all. You remember how much I had on here? I did not have to scrub it or rub hard or anything. It just, I just kept doing like this and it came right off. No problem. So if you're looking for a waterproof eyeliner, it may definitely be, it'll be worth checking out this one from Kaleido Cosmetics. I was really impressed with the color, the coverage, and how easy it was to remove with soap and warm water. It was really great. Because there was another one from another one, I can't remember what brand it was, in one of the previous bags, a waterproof eyeliner. I couldn't get it off even with soap and water, and it had to just wear off over like 12 hours. Like, it would not come off. I tried 
soap and water makeup remover. I even tried an alcohol swab. It would not come off. I did not like it because of that. This one's great. Okay, and from Lock Color, we have the Unicorn Glow Hydrating Primer, which I think is, a, this is a great one. I was really impressed with this, just the way it was on my hand. This fun-loving brand features artful packaging and smart formulas. Using hydrolyzed collagen, this gel-like primer gives your skin a major moisture boost to create a smooth canvas for a long-lasting makeup. I bet it really would, too. That's nice. Alright, and then we have the Betty Boop by Ipsy. Cheek to cheek brush palette right here. This Ipster exclusive Betty Boop inspired cheek palette is here to help you obsess over you. This peachy skin smoothing blush and highlighter trio mixes ultra blendable matte and pearlescent finishes for a lit with from with a lit from within glow. That would be great to apply with these brushes. And then from BioRace, we have the Low Hydrating Treatment Serum, which I'm looking forward to trying this one right here. This intensive hydrating serum by BioRace locks in moisture and keeps your skin soft and supple. Ideal for all skin types. It enhances your complexion instantly and can be applied to the entire face after cleansing. Absolutely. And... Oh, there's stuff. Oh my gosh, there's stuff on the back. Okay, we have the rest of it. I was going to say, where's the rest? For Real Her, we have the I Feel Beautiful eyeshadow palette. A father created this brand for his daughter. Does it get any cuter than that? This palette features nine shades of soft neutrals in warm and cool tones with a mix of shimmer and matte finishes. Each shade is long wearing, buildable, and velvety smooth. Since they can also double as highlighters, while darker shades can also be used as an eyeliner with an angled brush. And then we have our, our Eau de Parfum here from Nanette Lepore. Beautiful times. This fashion guru's fragrances are inspired by her bohemian designs. Her bright, juicy fragrance features notes of mandarin, violet, and caramelized sugar that make it lightly sweet and so addictive. It is nice. I really like the way it smells. It's a nice, light scent. Very, very appealing. And then we have the same Natural Avocado and Shea Butter Mask Sheet Set. Two of these. The same is a beloved Korean beauty brand that strives to create effective skincare products using naturally derived ingredients. This set of avocado and shea butter sheet masks deeply nourishes skin and delivers healthy hydration. Nice. I love these sheet masks. They're, they're just wonderful. Oh, I forgot this one. We have Murad AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. With a blend of salicylic, lactic, and glycolic acids, this triple threat exfoliator polishes away dull, dry skin without an ounce of irritation, ideal for all skin types. But it says to only use it two or three times a week, so it can't be my daily cleanser. Maybe it would irritate the skin if you used it more often than that. I'm just going to try it two or three times a week and see, see how it goes. Say moi beauty. Reflect lip gloss in opulence. Okay, the color is opulence. Say moi beauty believes that being you is the purest definition of beauty. Enriched with a blend of natural and organic oils, this nourishing gloss delivers a subtle everyday shimmer and a whole lot of shine, a whole lot of shine with zero stickiness. Just a little bit sticky. It's just a tad. 
but not I'm not knocking them but it, it did feel but it, I mean it's unavoidable with a lip gloss I think all right then we have this cute little guy colored rain cosmetics eyeshadow in glamour I like it this velvety smooth and vegan shadow is blendable richly pigmented and long wearing so your eyes will look will their, your eye look will stay strong from day to night the best part the full finish pearly hue looks so good on all skin tones oh yeah I'm looking forward to that one to trying that one and I think that's it that's everything in the pamphlet but look at all these great items that we got in our Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate it's just incredible we got a lot and of course we can't forget the cute little Betty Boop bag with its oops it's my little metallic heart-shaped zipper pull that's pretty awesome I love it so thank you so much for coming to see these items I really enjoyed looking through them with you and I hope that you enjoyed seeing them I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again really soon.